Hey guys, Jeff Marples here. Uh, I wanted to talk to you uh, about the trends in the marketplace. Now, a lot of you know that I'm a trend follower. I look at the statistics. I do believe that there is a difference between the market sentiment that buyers, sellers have within the marketplace um, and agents as in comparison really what the data says. And I wanted to share the data, right? Because we want to work in reality. We want to follow the trends, basically, and look at the numbers. So I'm going to send. I'm going to show you rather uh, a report that I read. It's the Robert Cam or the Campbell, which is Robert Campbell uh, Real Estate Timing Note Letter. Now, Robert Campbell is a uh, real estate economist. He graduated with an economy degree, economics degree rather, from UCLA a number of years ago. He comes up to the Bay Area um, once a year and I follow him, I, I watch him speak, but I wanted to show you. Now this is just single family, not condos, okay, for uh, a number of California cities, but look at San Francisco. These are the trends, guys. This is what's happening. This is as of July 2000 or uh, 2017. Now I wanted to point out, you know, the data is a little bit uh, old, about a quarter old. We are in the middle of uh, or the beginning of October here. But look at the price: 1,428. That is the median price. It is up. Look at column two: up 4.8 percent single family, right? Year over year change. That's actually still on an upward trend of 3.1. Look at the very last column. So that is. Uh, basically an indicator on you know what the inventory is doing it's basically even uh, it's 33 uh, negative 33.3 percent from last year so we thought last year's inventory was tough it's even tougher now so and I think that's part of the reason why the market is still doing really good is because there's a tightening of the inventory but when you look at this look at the different uh, counties and you might be interested if you're following other counties but Look, notice of defaults, 24 in, in uh, San Francisco, which is incredibly low. Uh, but look at the column nine. Column nine is new home building permits. That is a leading indicator, guys. If you know of anything about following economics and real estate, follow different trends. And this is a trend line right there because we want to know that the developers are developing in the area. When I see very low numbers, look at Los Angeles, negative 7.2. That means the trend is down. That means the confidence from developers is down. We want to see very strong confidence from developers. And we have that in San Francisco. Another part is let's look at uh, the 17 major cities in, in, uh, Let's see if I could focus that over in the marketplace. Look at San Francisco. Here's the trend. Look at March. Look at June. Okay. The primary trend is up. This trend, the last turning signal, which was a buy signal, happened in March of 2012. So ever since 2012, the market has been going up. Look at prices, ch price change since last signal. So look at the look at the price appreciation, 92.5 percent from that last buying signal. So you know, and look at the trend, the momentum, the market momentum trend is really an important trend to follow because. That's really going to indicate what buyers are doing in the marketplace. You know, where's the momentum going forward? And so, you know, I know that there is a big difference between, you know, what people say on the street and the way they kind of feel. Um, and there's some speculative uh, nature to that. Uh, but look at the trends. Single family home prices are still going up. Now, I think we're you know, blessed to be in San Francisco, you know, the days of 12 to 18% appreciation is just not happening right now. Uh, not to say it might go down, you never know what's going to happen in the future. And I think from a macroeconomics point of view, you know, Janet Yellen, you know, a couple weeks ago, they were talking about the Fed and, and reducing and, and deleveraging their $3 trillion asset sheet uh, that they've accumulated over the next, uh, the last number of years. Nothing happened in the marketplace. Look at the Dow. The Dow didn't get touched that day. And I think realistically, we might have an interest rate adjustment, you know, of a quarter of percent at the end of the year, but that's it. You know, I mean, they're gonna be very cautious on this thing. 
um, you know, it's like holding a, a cracked egg, you know, they, they're, they're not going to destroy it. So the way I look at it, interest rates aren't really going to be, be moving too much. And even if even the, the long term trend, those numbers are still down. Right. So really what you want to look at is the trends and follow the trends. Now, I'm saying that, you know, in the marketplace that we're in, you know, buyers do have the opportunity to negotiate down. It's not like three years ago when you know, 20 offers were on a property and everybody's going crazy. I think there is some uh, nervous anticipation in the marketplace where people really want to get kind of a deal. Um, it's not really happening, you, you know, on, on the massive scale, but at the same time, we just have to be cautious, right? So for buyers, look for units that have been on the market uh, for longer than 21 days. After 21 days, especially in the condo market and especially in South Beach, you know, you can negotiate down on price. I've been very successful, you know, throughout my career negotiating down on price. And that's really what you have to do. You know, you, you got to get the best deal that you can possibly get. Now, I do, you know, even this last week, I've written three low ball offers that are just, they're laughable. You know, even if they're, you know, non-contingent offers, they're not getting any traction because, you know, realistically, you know, if, if the property is not subject to rent control or eviction control, they're just going to rent it out. You know, the, the people, the sellers out there are just not motivated enough to, to give and, and take some low ball offer, guys. I mean, they're not going to do it. You know, look at the values. Look at the trends. You know, trends are still up. Why would anybody really just give you your shirt off their back just because they like you? I mean, it's just it's not going to happen. But I also think that you know, you can negotiate down on prices, especially in the condo market and single family home markets. I still think you have some leverage, but I also think that sellers, you need to be a little bit more realistic on your listing price. You know, some, some buyers are just tired of doing the multiple bid scenario. So be, be very cautious on the number that you put on your listing price and what's realistic within your marketplace, whatever, you know, neighborhood that you're in, really what is the realistic expectation of that. So just be cautious out there. I hope that information has been uh, good to you. If you're interested in following uh, my newsletter that I put out every month, uh, just let me know, send me a text or whatever, and I'll be happy to send you one every month. Uh, but Robert Campbell, you have to subscribe to his, but I'm, I'm happy to share. Uh, he's a brilliant guy. Just I think he's I think the world of him, he's a really nice guy. Um, and he knows his stuff. So anyway, follow the trends in the marketplace, guys. Uh, don't just get caught up in uh, the speculative world out there. If you're going to make smart decisions, you got to know your numbers, okay? Have a good day. Thank you for watching.